Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and uh, I'm reminded of a story that happened uh, in the early years uh, of Russia, of the uh, Soviet Union. Uh, there was an organization, the NKVD. This was the precursor organization to the dreaded KGB, uh, the secret police, notorious for their ruthlessness, the NKVD. There were some rabbis who shared an apartment very late one night. There was a loud knocking on the door. This could only mean one thing. This could only mean trouble. One of the rabbis opens the door, sure enough, it's a, a major, an officer in the NKVD. He says, where's the moil? This was the time when being a moil, a ritual circumciser, or a shaykhet, uh, a ritual slaughterer, was strictly forbidden. Anyone caught doing this was in major trouble. The officer was there, where's the moil? And uh, one of the uh, rabbis was a moil. One of the rabbis was a shaykhet. The one who was neither says, Officer, please, uh, do you think that we would, uh, we would uh, circumcise babies when we know it was strictly against the law? We would never do this. The officer wouldn't budge. Where's the moil? I want to talk to the moil. Where's the moil? He bursts into the apartment, looks around, looks around. All he sees are three rabbis. The, just the plain rabbi who was doing the talking, the moil, and the shaykhet. Where's the moil? Where's the moil? None of them said anything. They were terrified. The major closes the door to the apartment. And he says, in Yiddish, I'm also a Jew. Last week, my wife gave birth to a baby boy. Where's the moil? I need the moil. Try to imagine an officer in the organization that was to become the KGB, the NKBD. If he were to be caught employing a moil to circumcise his own son, there wouldn't be gallows high enough in Russia. They would have made an example of him, and yet he literally risked his life in order to fulfill this commandment from the Creator. Um, I can't imagine the courage it would have taken for this officer to do this. Um, the rabbis went along with him in the dead of night. They went to his house. They made sure, of course, this was the eighth day, which it was. Um, they circumcised the boy. In secret, nobody knew, and they went, and nothing became of the matter. Um, but this story uh, inspires me. Um, the courage, the dedication, um, in the face of overwhelming odds, to perform commandments, to be true to who you are and what God expects of you. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.